Hi, and welcome. This is going to be a very lengthy and difficult series covering the Karma Chrono software. The first thing I want to go over is the basic setup. So this is KK, otherwise known as the Karma Chrono software, and I have uh, an instance of Cubase running as well. In KK, when you first start it up, you're going to go through a basic MIDI setup, which is going to, cho to choose your ports. Um, I can open that up right here. I'm using a free um, MIDI bus. You can think of it as, as like a MIDI cable between two programs. It's almost like rewiring Cubase into Karma. And that's for free. I could put a link in the description for that. But basically Cubase over here, let me switch over, is uh, has a MIDI track. And the output of that MIDI track is going to this loop B internal MIDI bus, which is going into the module input in Karma. Now, in the global port channels, you're going to want the uh, Kronos keyboard and Kronos sound MIDI drivers chosen because the keyboard itself acts as a dongle for the software. So if you choose a, uh, a different um, port, like let's say, uh, yeah, let's say I choose this loop internal, we'll get an error message eventually. It'll be like uh, a few seconds, there it is. And if you just click Run MIDI Setup Assistant, it'll choose the correct MIDI drivers for the global port. So that's pretty much whether you're on PC or Mac. I'm running a PC. But if you are on Mac, you can actually get around this by um, sending the Kronos as the input and then setting the output to the, uh, the the internal MIDI bus, and then making sure that monitor is on, so it's always sending MIDI data. I don't suggest setting it up that way, because if you ever take off monitoring, it's going to give you that MIDI error message again. But yeah, and fortunately with PC, uh, it locks the MIDI drivers per program. So you have to open up the Karma software first, and then lock the MIDI drivers in. And unfortunately, that makes it so you can't send MIDI data from the Kronos to Cubase. Um, at least I haven't figured out a way. But with this basic setup, we can do a whole lot. And it's very easy to drive Karma in this way. So we have um, our basic MIDI window set up correctly. And I believe by setting it up the way I have it, um, Oh, you're going to also want to make sure this uh, link modules to global is off. And uh, and then it's set up like this. I believe with the way I have it, I can switch programs. Let me try to switch programs real fast. Ah, uh, it, it, it did it incorrectly. So when I switch programs, it actually... Sorry about that, I chose a, another program. I'm actually running the microphone through the Kronos. Uh, all the sound is coming from the Kronos. But anyway, um, when switching programs, it, it does change the input port, which I don't want. So to get around that, I just uh, click this. I choose Copy Port Settings to All Performances. And then I go to File, and I'll hit Save. And now, when I change performances, we can see that we have the correct uh, module MIDI input, which is our um, internal MIDI bus coming from Cubase. So beyond that, um, I have my dynamic MIDI coming from the Kronos itself. Uh, we'll end up getting to that probably much later in this series. Um, the other things you need to know are in the uh, preferences. You're going to um, want to make sure that the uh, transmit and receive port channel is from the Kronos. And that way, when you are choosing like uh, things from the, the, uh, the control, from the control surface, like, like when I click Karma on, you see it's mirrored here, or latch, or the drum track, or what have you. Um, there are advanced settings that I might go into, I might not, where you can actually decouple the controls on the on the synth itself, on the Kronos itself, 
and use the module separate from the Karma software, and that'll let you use 10 Karma modules at once. But again, that's very advanced, and it's something that I rarely even do myself. Um, but uh, maybe like way later, like next year, <laughs> I, can, I can get into that. Um, but yeah, make sure that, that you have the, uh, the transmit and receive um, port channels set so that the controls are mirrored between the software and the hardware. Um, and then there are other various little things like um, make sure that the CC control change is enabled, which will um, make it so the pads on the Kronos itself activates the pads on the software. And of course, the Kronos doesn't have physical pads, but it does have um, the uh, the digital pads. So if you go to the common tab in the Kronos um, and then hit one of those pads. And I'm actually not seeing it uh, hit these, but that could be because in my global settings, I might not have the correct pad output. So if you go to the global settings in your Kronos, unfortunately I can't show you this on screen, um, you're going to want to go to the uh, pad MIDI out and choose pad CC note, which I didn't have on my Kronos just now. Um, you'll find that setting kind of in the lower left under this uh, window called MIDI routing setup, which is just in the MIDI, MIDI tab. Um, so once you have the pads going to MIDI out, when I go back to program, and then I go to my comment section and then go to the last tab, which is pads. And then I click one of those pads. You can see on the Kronos software, it also plays those pads. So that's pretty much everything that I need to go over in this video. Um, if there are, if you have any like questions, I might be able to answer it pretty easily in the comments. Otherwise, I would highly suggest reading, of course, the, the documents. I mean, RTFM is something we are all super familiar with at this point. Um, don't forget to write your global settings. So I just did that. So now I don't have to worry about changing those settings again. And uh, yeah, this is just the basic introductory video to get the basic setup. And then we can actually start learning more about Karma itself in the next few videos. Thank you.